Hey everyone, Valley here. It has been a while since Vine was released in Early Access, and while playing I learned a lot of important things. Things I wish I knew when I started playing Valheim for the first time. So first of all, mark berries, mushrooms and thistle on your map. You get a lot of freedom with your pins, so mark a lot. Seriously, a lot. Berries will respawn every 300 minutes, while thistle and mushrooms respawn every 240 minutes. Knowing the locations of these resources will make your life way easier, especially when you need to tame some boars or want to cook up some nice recipes. Alright, the next one didn't happen to me, but every now and then I see a reddit post where someone doesn't repair their items and crafts another hammer. Just go to the nearest workbench or forge and smash the repair button a few times. Your items will be just as new in the blink of an eye. Also, don't forget to upgrade your tools. Even a hammer can be upgraded to quality 3, which triples its initial durability. So check the upgrade tab at your forge or workbench every now and then. Speaking of workbenches, did you notice you can get queen bees way easier by building a workbench? Just build one and destroy the structure with the hive. After a little bit of remodeling, the materials will be up for grabs. I always use the bow and arrow, but that's not really efficient. The workbench is way easier, and before you know it, the bees will be happy. Just make sure you have 10 wood with you. You know what would make you happy? Building near the border of a different biome. One of the first mistakes I made was building my first base near a coastline minutes away from a different biome. The amount that I had to travel to get certain resources was unnecessary. So explore your island for a bit and settle on a nice location near another biome. This gives you the opportunity to easily benefit from both biomes. This is something I still forget from time to time, but always take 5 stones and 2 wood with you. Being able to make a campfire whenever you want is a huge bonus, because being rested makes you gain 50% more experience in every skill. And it also increases your health regen by 50% and your stamina regen by a whopping 100% which makes this effect almost mandatory while exploring the wonderful world of Valheim, so keep this buff up. Meanwhile, keep in mind that the comfort level influences the duration, so place the campfire in a nice spot, like entrances of burial chambers and troll caves. There's a thing called overpreparation, and while I like to live dangerously, it's probably a good idea to make a nice amount of food before you go exploring. And even when you think you made enough, make a little bit more. I cannot even count how many times I ran out of food while exploring the wilderness, especially because when I play Valheim I forget the time. Also make sure to balance the food types. While more health is certainly useful, foods that give stamina are a good addition, especially if you use a weapon like the Edgear. This is just a quick tip, but did you know that you can zoom in and out of the minimap? Just use dot and comma on your keyboard. This way you don't have to open the map every time you're looking for the right direction. I like to parry, but I love dodge rolls, so learn how to do these useful movements. A few weeks ago I had someone in my stream who thought they had to press the buttons at once, but that's not the case. Just hold your right mouse button to defend and press the space bar to roll. Practicing dodge rolls gives you much more chance of survival, because you can practically roll through all attacks. It has probably already happened to you that you were not allowed to use the workbench. It's too exposed. Fortunately, it doesn't take too much effort to solve that. With 4 building pieces you already have the possibility to repair your tools. Let me show you. And that's it. Quick and effective. Last but not least, take your time. I cannot stress this enough. During my first playthrough I played with some friends, and while multiplayer is a really great way to experience the game, I would have liked to have gone a little slower through my first playthrough. At one point they determined the pace of the game, and wanted to go to the next boss as quickly as possible. Looking back, I didn't like it that much after all. I would have liked to build some more, you know? So take your time. Alright, these were the things I wish I knew when I started playing Valheim for the first time. If you have any extra tips, let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye bye.